What's going on, everybody? I'm excited to be with you today. My name is Stanley with Stouter Cells, and today what we're gonna be talking about is how to keep those clients from canceling. Cancellation rates in uh, the home building industry, and especially in the new home building industry, is, uh, is something that's monitored, it's something that's looked at. A lot of companies look at this as how well you're performing, some people are bonused on it. Uh, so this is a big topic in that specific industry, but really whatever industry you're in, maybe you're in insurance, car sales, we don't want to work really, really hard to get somebody to sign a contract on the dotted line just for them to call you in a week or three months and say, hey, listen, we're actually gonna go a different route. We don't think that this is the right, you know, right play for us at this time. It can be incredibly frustrating, especially if you're 100% commissioned and you're looking forward to that closing, right? So today I wanna share with you how I was able to keep my cancellation rates at an extremely low rate um, while also delivering really good customer service and having you know a very high NPS or net promoter score uh, while I was still selling. So one of the things I like to use when I talk about this and I teach on this is understanding almost like your phone carrier, right? So my phone carrier uh, carrier is Verizon. And when I'm with Verizon, I've been with Verizon for a really, really long time since I was in high school, right? Well, the truth is, is I really don't have any relationship with Verizon. I have a contract with them, but I don't have any uh, anybody tie me down or any anybody that I call when things go wrong. I just call the customer service line and boom, it's over, right? Well, here's the thing. If AT&T were to come to me tomorrow and say, you know, hey, Stanley, we've got a great offer for you. We're going to charge you less money. We're going to give you the same quality phone and the same type of coverage. Well, in that moment, without a doubt, I'm switching. There's no question about it, right? I don't have a relationship there. So to me, it doesn't really matter. It's just dollars and cents at the end of the day. Well, what if it was different, right? What if I knew somebody named Emily at Verizon and every time something went wrong, I called Emily and Emily was there for me. Emily developed a relationship with me. Emily knew that I was married and Emily also wanted to know more about my family and and wanted to know how I was doing when I called. She went the extra mile, right? Here's the difference. I have a relationship with Emily. I don't just have a contract. You see, when you're in sales, if I'm selling you a new home, I want to develop a relationship with you. I don't wanna just have a contract with you because here's the thing. It is extremely challenging to cancel a relationship, but it is incredibly easy to cancel a contract. Many of you have been selling contracts, not relationships. So here's the thing, not only does having a phenomenal relationship with your buyer keep them from canceling, it also allows them to drive new business to you. You see, somebody who is treated right by a salesperson can't wait to tell their friends about how Emily is the best at Verizon Wireless or Stanley is the best at DR Horton. You see, at the end of the day, you're building relationships not only because you actually care about this person, which you should, but also it's going to do two things for you. It's going to keep them from canceling. And number two, it's going to bring in new business to you. So if you're out there and you're struggling with your cancellation rates, maybe over and over again, you sign a contract, somebody cancels. Remember, you're probably pushing and you're probably forcing a sale Rather than building a relationship with somebody, which takes a little bit more time, a little bit more effort, but in the long run will provide much, much better fruit from the seeds that you're planting earlier on in the, in the process. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it encouraged you. Drop a comment, throw a like on, uh, on the video, and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know you guys are out there. Tell me how are you keeping your cancellation rates down? How are you building relationships that end up coming back to you to either buy again or to provide new business to you? I hope this video helped you guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.